Okay, we get a lot of phone calls uh, asking how do I get rid of bed bugs? And there are several steps that go into this uh, procedure. And step one is always going to be inspection and sanitation. Uh, and what we mean by that is we're going to search the room and we're going to get rid of anything that we don't absolutely need to have. That means that we're going to get rid of um, extra papers that we have laying around. Uh, if we store things under the bed, we're going to get those out from under the bed. We're going to move them out of the way um, so that we can clear the way to a treatment path. Um, all clothes should be bagged up, drawers should be emptied. Um, so your room should kind of look just like it did when you were first moving in. Everything should be clean and empty. Uh, then we're going to move on to step two, and that's the thorough treatment. That means every crack and crevice, every nook and cranny has to be treated with some product, whether it's an aerosol, a liquid concentrate, or a dust, everything must be treated. Step three, you go back and you treat again, and you're going to treat every two weeks until you don't have any more bed bugs and any evidence of bed bugs for at least 30 days. Okay, some common mistakes folks make when they're trying to get rid of bed bugs is just not doing a thorough job. A lot of folks want to go in and just kind of broadcast spray all over the room and hope that does the job. Um, well, bed bugs like to hide in cracks and crevices, so it is very important that every crack and crevice is treated. This means crack and crevice around baseboards, door frames, window frames, picture frames. If you can fit a credit card in there, a bed bug can also hide there. Every crack and crevice must be treated. The second common mistake is just not doing the repeat treatments. People want to treat once and move on. Unfortunately, uh, the bed bug egg is protected, so those repeat treatments are necessary with every product that you use. You may be wondering if you can treat bed bugs yourself versus hiring a professional. And the answer is, of course you can. You have to be committed to adding a little bit of your own labor into the process, but if you're willing to do that, you can certainly treat bed bugs yourself. We do recommend that uh, you use one of our bed bug kits versus just trying to choose one single product because there could be a resistance issue with the product that you're choosing uh, and treating the strain of bed bugs that you have. Um, if you choose a kit, you'll notice they come with an aerosol, they, they'll come with a dust, and they may even come with a liquid concentrate. Um, these different products are all chosen to put together into one kit so you can avoid any kind of resistance issue.